Then with rib joint pliers or an adjustable open end wrench, unscrew the water supply hose from the bottom of the toilet's fill valve shank. Now place one open end adjustable wrench on the compression nut while placing the second wrench on the water supply valve itself. Once in position, hold the water supply valve in place with one wrench while turning to loosen the compression nut with the second wrench. Once the compression nut is loose, turn it by hand and remove the valve from the water pipe. When the old valve is removed, the compression nut and ring will remain attached to the water supply line. These parts should be reused on the new water supply valve if they are in good condition. However, if corroded or otherwise damaged, they will have to be cut off and replaced. Expect water to drain out of the pipe when the valve is removed, so prepare quickly to switch valves. The water can be collected in a small bin that has been placed beneath the valve before removal. The new valve, which was made ready, needs to be fully inserted into the water pipe and aligned vertically. Screw the compression nut onto the water supply valve hand tight. Then take two open end adjustable wrenches and tighten the compression nut onto the water supply valve until it is tight. Be careful not to damage the valve, however, it must be tight or it will leak. The water supply valve outlet should be vertical when it is installed correctly. Keep in mind not to force the water supply into a vertical position when the lock nut is tight because this may cause a leak to the water pipe joint behind the wall. With the water supply valve firmly in place, attach the toilet tank hose to the water supply valve and tighten it carefully. Attach the water supply hose to the fill valve's shank and tighten a quarter turn past hand tight. With the water supply valve in the off position, turn on the water main to the house. Return to the toilet and check for water leaks at the water valve connection. If there are none, turn on the water supply valve. With the water supply valve on, the toilet's tank will begin to fill. Inspect the overall assembly for leaks and tighten accordingly. Once the tank is filled, replace the lid and the task is complete.